Hi, my name is Todd. I'm from ToddStickTips.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at Visual Basic. And Visual Basic is a pretty complicated language. You can run into a few different things, and it's good to learn the basics. So first off, I want you to go download Visual Studio. You can go find it on the Microsoft website by just typing in Visual Studio Express. Um, it's free, and you can download it pretty quickly. So this is the interface after you start it up. It gives you a little introduction and you have getting started guides over here. But I'm going to dive on into it. I'm going to go on to file. And I'm going to make a new project. This pane is where we can select what kind of project we want. And we want a Windows form application. Down here is what we can name our um, project. So I'm just going to title it Hello World. If you're not familiar with that, um, it's just a common name that programmers use. So hello world, and that looks all good. I'm going to hit OK. Now this here is the interface builder. So it's where you can build your interface. Over on the left hand side here we have what's called the toolbox. And you can select different tools here. So you notice some of these are pretty common. Button, label, um, There's a whole bunch of just different things you can drag in and drop, and it's quite easy. So let's go ahead and just drag in like a button and a label for starters. So drag in my label there, and drag in a button. And notice you have the usual alignment tools here, so you can see when it's going to align up pr properly. And then of course you have the handles where you can drag and make your button bigger or smaller, depending on what you want. So that's got my label and my button in there now. And we can go ahead down here to properties and change a few things about the actual button itself. So if we scroll up here, we've got back color. We can change the actual color of the, um, like the button when it's clicked. So you can have different colors here, highlight, things like that. Background image, you can change that or just use it um, normal. You can change it to things like that, pop-up button. You can do all sorts of things. So just go ahead and play around with that to make it look a little bit different, I guess. Make it something different. Then we can change the font, we can change the text, we can change how big the font is, things like that. All of these other things here will come into play once we learn a little bit more about Visual Basic. So to make the button actually do something, we're going to double-click on the button itself. So let's double-click on the button. And this is where we start entering the code. So at the top here, it's called a, a private sub, which it, it adds itself. And then here you can see button one click. So this is the action, the, what we type in underneath here is what's going to happen when we click the button. So we can change what happens. So we can have things like this. Instead of click, we can have it when it drags, when you drag and drop. When you, um, what's another one? when you key up, so when you press a certain key an action will happen, but to make it simple we're going to do it just a click. To make the label change like its name or change text, we're going to type in label wait, LA, and see label 1 there, that's the name we had our label, and I just hit enter, or actually I'm going to hit period, so dot txt. This is going to stand for that the text is going to change, and I'm going to hit just the parentheses. I'm going to type in Todd's. Oops. Todd's tech tips and close the parentheses. 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 Ah. Um. That. Oh, hold on. I'm going to put an equals there. So lbl1.txt equals Todd's Tech Tips when the button is clicked. And if we click on Run up here, so I'll click Run, and this is our little application that's running. Notice the button looks kind of ugly. I didn't realize it was going to look that ugly. But if I click the button, the label text changes to Todd's Tech Tips. So this is how you can make your own little program so when a user comes and clicks a button, they can get a set of instructions, things like that. This is the most probably the most basic program you can actually make. Um, if this video gathers traction, I'll add in how I made a rock paper scissors game, and a few other games as well. So I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments down below, 
please don't forget to ask them. I will most likely get back to you on them. And if you've come from my previous video, I thank you for watching this one because that last one was pretty terrible. That was two years ago when I didn't realize that I was going to actually get into YouTube um, in a bigger way. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.